What if you could summarize any information from any website or video in seconds? Well, you can now with AI. I'm Scott Meyer, and I'm the co-founder of Chip and the creator of 5-Minute AI, where we help you live well and work smart with just a little bit of AI. We're in the midst of the Chip Challenge, where we're helping you build 15 assistants in 15 days. Today's assistant is the Cliff Noter. If you remember Cliff Notes, you would get quick summaries of a class or a lesson so that you could learn what you needed to pass the test. Well, in our day-to-day -day lives, we get a lot of information and we just need the key points, right? So if you get a big PDF that you need to read through, if you need to check a policy or a handbook, if you have a long uh, YouTube clip, maybe it's a podcast you want to listen to, but you don't have time, or maybe it's just a website that's really long and you want to get the, the cliff notes from that, you can create an AI tool to do that just for you or people in your company. I'm going to show you how, how to build that today. And then you can duplicate that cliff noter and tweak it to your heart's content and use it for your own information so that you're efficient and learn what you need to take action. Let's show you how on the computer. To get started, we're gonna to go to chip.ai. This is where you can build a custom ChatGPT based on your own knowledge. Once you've created your chip account, you'll see your dashboard and you can click on apps. I'm gonna show you the Cliff Noter application. You can just copy what I'm gonna show you and build your own, and then you can change the name and logo however you like. Now, the reason why you are going to want to use Chip over something like a custom ChatGPT is that you can brand this however you want, and it will accept YouTube videos and your own files and search the web without having to have a paid account for you or your users. So we're going to create the name and the description. Most importantly, we're going to look at these instructions. So remember, the instructions are what's known as a prompt. And again, we like to use that right framework we learned about in our last lesson. You're going to give it a role. You're going to then give it instructions. You're going to give it parameters to what it can or can or should do. And then you're going to give it an example. With the cliff noter, what I'm going to do is tell it that it's a skilled writer and interpreter providing summaries. Then I'm going to give it the instruction to create summaries from documents or links or photos. One thing I like to add is if you don't have enough information, just say that because that pre prevents the hallucinations. It's going to force it to ask more questions if it doesn't have what it needs. I like to start by asking for a name just to make it a little more personal and use that throughout the conversation and then ask the user how you can help them. This is just a way of flipping the conversation. So the AI is asking the user what they need instead of the user having to provide it. That's another benefit of, say, using Chip versus just going to a chat GPT. I like to remind people what they can use. So you can use YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. That would be unique to Chip. And then when you're done giving additional questions. Um, then the parameters, I just say use headlines and bullets to make it easy. Um, I like to recommend timestamps or link that allows people to go to the original source and then keeping it friendly with emojis. And then I gave an example. So if somebody pasted in an academic paper, it might respond like this. And the reason I do that is by giving an example to our AI tool, it really shows how it should answer. And you can kind of uh, direct that as much as you want. Now, a cliff note compared to something like our school buddy that we did in the first uh, lesson, we're not going to add knowledge sources because when we add a knowledge source, every single user is going to be analyzing or using that knowledge source. What we're doing instead is asking the user for the knowledge source. So instead of doing it ahead of time, you're doing it in the conversation. So let's show you how this looks in action. So here's our cliff nodder, and I can tell it that I need a summary. And you can see it's going to follow those instructions. So the first thing it's going to do is ask my name. So I'm going to go ahead and give it that. You can see it'll then use that throughout the conversation. It's telling me I can upload a document or photo. So let's go ahead. I just searched on Wikipedia for something that's this day. It's a National Remembrance Day. And I can just say, tell me about this, right? And now I'm going to put in that link. And now the Cliff Noter is going to go out to the web, retrieve the information, summarize it, bring it back. I can ask more questions about that. So here you can see it summarized that Wikipedia article for me, gave me some of key information. I could ask more information about it if I wanted to. I can do the same thing with a YouTube video. So I just grabbed a um, podcast that was on the homepage of YouTube, put that link in. Uh, I can just say, now do this one. And you can see this is a big benefit of Chip versus other tools is that we can actually do social videos like YouTube. So here you can see Cliff Noter grabbed the video. It found the names. It actually is giving us timestamps of what they're talking about if I want to go to the original. Um, gives me a quick summary, key takeaways. So really easy and fast way. I could actually click these links and go get information. Um, and that's a fast way to kind of connect with people and find useful information. Now I could do the same thing with documents. I can click on this plus sign and upload a file. I'm going to pick this chapter of a book, big, long document, um, and just say summarize for me. 
And now it's going to actually go through that PDF and find the key information. So if you're downloading an academic article, you have a policy document, maybe a, a contract, you can upload that and quickly get information. So here you can see it's uh, summarizing chapter 17 on second order differential equations. It's actually giving me the basic concept, some of the things that I would learn about in that book. And then I could dive in and say, you know, tell me more about um, vibration of springs, right? I don't have any idea what that's going to be. It's going to dive into that part of the chapter and give me some context. So I can really quickly learn about something. So you can see so many use cases for Cliff Noter to either quickly churn through information that you're getting to learn something more quickly, or maybe even in a class or in a business to quickly onboard, train, or educate someone. So I hope that you can now go copy the Cliff Noter and build your own version. You can really take exactly what we have. If you want to tweak it slightly, you can brand it for your own company or your own use. Uh, grab that link and share it. If you want to, you can actually add it into a website as well. So if I click over here to Cliff Noter, I can click on share. I can either put in an iframe, just paste that into the bottom of my website, or I can make an embeddable widget and that would live in the bottom right corner of my website. So you can see that would be a nice addition to a page that you might use for your company, right? So create your own version of Cliff Noter and share it by tagging chip.ai so that you can enter the 15 day challenge most importantly, go learn. AI will help you learn more, more quickly so you can be efficient and have a big impact in your world, in your job, and in your community. Can't wait to see what you build.